pole dancing and other sports take step towards becoming new Olympic events. Looks like there could be some very interesting new additions to the Olympic Games in the near future. New sports have been added over the years to the Olympic Games to expand viewership and recognize excellence in these new sports. Golf and rugby were added to the 2016 Olympic Games and in 2020 we'll see the addition of baseball, climbing, karate and more. I remember when curling was added years back, an unconventional sport for sure. Many people still poke fun at it, but it has seemed to gain popularity. The first Olympic Games had only 8 sports and the 2020 Olympic Games will have 33. Sports are added by the International Olympic Committee that takes factors into account such as audience appeal. Millennials are driving changes to the Olympic Games with the inclusion of more extreme sports like skateboarding. Perhaps the disappointing ratings of the opening ceremonies from the 2016 Olympics, which were down 28% from the 2012 Games, might nudge the powers to be to select sports that would interest new viewers. Pole dancing would certainly add a new twist to the games. Before you roll your eyes, you might want to try it sometime. It is definitely not as easy as it looks. It takes incredible amounts of strength and skill to perform. But sorry guys, this is not exactly the pole dancing you may be imagining. It is traditionally perceived as a risque entertainment, performed behind closed doors for paying clientele. But pole dancing could become an Olympic sport after it was officially recognized as a sport. The Global Association of International Sports Federation, GAES, gave it observer status dash meaning it will now provisionally be classified as a sport. It follows an 11-year fight by Katie Coates, 41, president of the International Pole Sports Federation, IPSF, who is campaigning for it to become part of the Olympic Games by 2024. She started a petition in 2006, to get it into the Olympics, which attracted more than 10,000 signatures. In the early 2000s people started doing it as fitness and taking away the sex stigma, so no high heels and making it accessible for average people. Pole dancing is not like everyone thinks it is, you need to actually watch it to understand. Competitions started but they were very amateur, with friends of friends doing the judging. My goal initially was to make it more professional. I feel like we have achieved the impossible, everyone told us that we would not be able to get pole dancing recognized as a sport. The Federation for Pole Dancing can now apply for national sports recognition through the Department for Digital, Culture, and Sport. Other sports that have been added to the list of possible Olympic events include foosball, yes, table soccer, and even poker. Whether or not they actually make it into the games is yet to be seen. Poker may face an uphill battle because it is classified as a mind sport, but it was officially recognized as a sport as well, and thus has a chance. These sports are all making progress in the process that all current sports have gone through, so who knows. As for pole dancing, it certainly takes a lot of athletic ability to excel in this sport. I actually think it could be an interesting addition. Men might be disappointed to see that there are no high heels involved in the sport version though. In fact, to be added as an event the sport would have to be practiced by men in 75 countries, on four continents. Men's pole dancing would be. Um dot an interesting thing to watch, to watch.